Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Dead Rabbit SQ by Hellvape and Heathen. And we're also going to take a look at Cotton Threads by Get Cotton. I'll leave all their links down below. I've had this uh, SQ for a couple months now and I apologize out there to Billy because I've had it for a while and I just haven't gotten around to getting to review. Some things happen and, you know, sometimes it does happen. But um, many of you already know about the regular Dead Rabbit. Being a 24 millimeter, one of my favorite RDAs altogether. You always see it, and oh, you'll always see me using a dead rabbit, either the SQ or the one of the, my. I have three dead rabbits, so um, you'll always see one of them in any of my videos, my live shows, anything. But, anyways, this here is the 22 millimeter. This is the baby of the 24 millimeter. Um, I think I seen it over on uh, Vapor DNA for like $34.99 or something like that over there. It's a 22 millimeter 304 stainless steel. Top terminal two post, which we'll be able to see when we go down below. Um, it's great for single to, uh, single coil. Um, it's got a five mil uh, five millimeter deep juice well, just like you know, just like on the regular Dead Rabbit. It's got that nice deep well. So when you fill that up there with your, uh, if you're using it for a squonker, you could just load that right up there. Beautiful onto that. You got adjustable mouth to lung onto it. It's got a couple different settings onto it. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, well, well, we'll be able to see it when we get down below anyways. Um, so, what better way to do that? And let's just dive down and do it now. All right, so here we are down below here. And uh, let's get this out of the way. This is the cotton thread, so we'll go over in a minute. But here's the dead rabbit here. And bring it up close so you can see it. Um, I'm sure many of you have already seen it because this has been out a little while. Um, it's got your, it tells you it's Dead Rabbit, uh, what it is here, tells you that it's a 22 millimeter, 810 dripping, so on, all your basic stuff, all your pertinent information is all on the back here, what it comes with, designed in the USA by Hell Vape, and then here's your scratch and sniff, and then where you can find them all on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook all here. So, <clears throat> open this up, and you got your Dead Rabbit card again, and it says, for more information, further instruction, you can find my in introduction video at the, at the, on Vape and Heat, and you can go over there anyways. And then here, it's not just your 22 millimeter version of a Dead Rabbit, it is a single coil flavor RDA, and this goes on about what it's about. Tell you that the uh, bottom feed pin is also included and installed when you first get it. So that's that. Here's the the beauty itself. We'll go over that in a minute. Let's set it to the side. And then you get all your pertinent little thing. That's it for the box. We open this up here. And you get screwdriver and a couple allen wrenches and here you got all your extra drip tips 510 um, reducer you have your regular pin you got a bunch of different grub screws and a bunch of o-rings in there so you get a lot of stuff into there and then again this is your dead rabbit sq and it looks just like the dead rabbit it's got all your engravings it's got the same kind of cutouts but one thing, I don't know if it'll show here, but it does have your different air flows. And this light sucks. But right there is one little hole here. And it's going to be the same thing over here. No, nope, this one's only got just the one. So if you really wanted a tight draw, that's it there. And then if you bring it over to here, it's here. And there's one here and then you bring it all the way around and you've got your adjustment for your actual airflow it's identical to the actual dead rabbit the way the angle is onto it and everything um standard this is not the actual drip tip that came with it the other one is still in the box i believe no no i used it but it's uh this is not the one that came with it this is a different one here and then this pulls out just like on a regular dead rabbit. Don't mind it being a little juicy because it's been used. And then again, like I said, your barrel is all 
same, just a 22 millimeter. And then your deck is going to look just like the regular Dead Rabbit, but it's just for single coil. And then it's got your feed here on this side and on this side. And again, it does have your come with the squawk pin already installed. And it tells you here, designed and by Hellvape SQ. And then it has your Hellvape on the bottom there as well also. So let's uh, throw a build onto it here. Let's uh, put it onto my Ismodus Pumper 18. And before we even throw a build in, I'll show you how, see if it'll pick up how the juice flow goes. You can see it when it comes in here. See where it comes in right off the sides there? And then when you have the cap on, this thing will, you could put a ton of juice in, just like on the regular uh, Dead Rabbit. So, let's see here. We got these coils here from C4 Endgame. These are his Colossal Limited Edition. These are uh, N90. These are some badass coils. course it ain't gonna focus in onto it but let's see if we can get these into here best way I find for because you see how long the leads are and this is the way heathen had actually taught it in his video is if you hold this in the tip of your finger and you hold that and see where I'm holding my fingers just take your wire cutters clip there there and we're looking pretty good now for your length and again this is so easy easy peasy kind of sleazy and hang on let me back off that screw a little bit What I normally will do is I'll bottom it right out all together and then just pull it up a tad. Not much. This way I can hold that up there. mind the angle it's just different camera and I'm trying to figure out the angles and my lighting onto this here so but I want to start being able to start doing some uh, down unders again so and now you see it's installed there what I normally will do now is I'll pull this up just a little bit and then you want that so when you have this onto here See where those coil hits right on top. So when your air goes down through, it hits those right on the button there. And let's uh, throw a battery in this. I'm not sure if this will fire down that low because I know these will amount to be, I think, after fire, they'll only amount to be about 0.14. But before that, they're a little bit lower than that. But I got some VTC 5As here that we'll, we'll throw those in there. It won't fire. It's too low. So we'll do this. We'll go give it some love on something else real quick. We'll throw this on my dreamer just to give it some love to after we fire it, then we'll put it back onto the pumper so we can actually wick it all up and everything. Mm -hmm. 
and yes, another VTC5. I have some 25Rs, but I use those in all in my regular ones. But anything in mechanical, I use my VTC5s, 5As. So, oh yeah, that baby is chucking. She be chucking. Here, let me see if I can. Technical difficulties there, folks. We'll get her fixed up in a second. Sorry about that. There we go. I'll cut that out. Yeah, glowing up nice now. I'll let that cool for a second, and we'll put that back onto the pumper. over to the camera but we got it fixed now I think Heavy ass coils, but it's firing off nice now. So you can see how easy it is to build onto this here. And uh, like I said, and, and the coils I got from C4 Endgame, freaking easy peasy, quite sleazy, but awesome onto that. And now let's go to the cotton threads and I'm going to show you how easy that is. I love easy. a cotton thread sticker and this one right here is a sample pack so they only there's only two in a pack one there and one there and um, I got this over here at um, getcotton.com they sent it over to me I'll leave their links for that and on Instagram but to give you a little heads up adoreeliquid.com now has these over there I know over on Breezy they have a 20 pack for $5.99 onto it. It's a certified organic, certified pharmaceutical grade cotton, no bleach, no taste, designed for 3 millimeter coils. Um, so, like I said, it's very simple. And then now that we're here, you just take it like you're lacing up your shoe, pull it through. Easy peasy, quite sleazy. Now let's just take our scissors and what we want to do onto here is you could see that we need that to go right about there so if we just take this here and chop off just a hair on the other side of that shoelace we should be pretty good on our length And then those tuck right down into those nice deep juice wells on the SQ. So that way there, when you do squonk, or on this one, pump, it comes right up, goes right directly into that cotton, like so. And like I said, easy peasy, quite sleazy. Let me get the liquid we're going to be using. What I already have in the pumper is this one from Coil Vapes. And this is their reserve. I just want to hit the top of that coil just before we close up shop. Just to get a little juice on top of that other cotton so it'll absorb up in there. And uh, let's see what we got. 
we got vapors. All right, so uh, let's take it up top and we'll talk about it some more and that's going to do it. Oh yeah, nice. All right, so here we are back up on top. And again, we took a look at the uh, Hell Vape Dead Rabbit SQ from Hell Vape and from Heathen. And we also took a look at the cotton. We also showed you the coils I got in from C4 Endgame. I'll leave his link down below also. These coils are phenomenal. Uh, these are an N90. I wanted to mention that as well also. Um, and the liquid on Coil Vapes, you all know if you've been following me, Coil Vapes is one of my favorite altogether. And, when, and then that disc one, and now the disc one reserve. It's off the charts. Anyways, you can pick these up here again. Like I said, I found the the SQ over on Vapor DNA for like I think it was thirty four ninety nine, but there's other places that even actually have it a little bit cheaper than that. And on the cotton uh, cotton threads, I know over at Adora E Liquid. I'm gonna leave her link down below. Also, she has these over there on her website as well. Also, and beauty part about with the uh, with these get cotton if you've got uh, any kind of problem of you know feeding it through if you have problems with your hand and you want to be able to change your cotton this is ideal you ain't got to worry about pinching it and trying to figure out how much you need you slide that in done clip off your little ends done you're it's like i said easy peasy kind of sleazy awesome on to that all right again i'm going to leave all their links down below that's going to do for tonight folks so until the next time Keep vaping.